do I have doctors here? I do. Quickly get in here before he dies. And we have our first prisoners. Now this is something I'm going to do for every uh, boss that comes in. And especially since the game is running this laggy, it's easier to do. Snitch. Right there. Protect it. And for the rest... All maximum security. Now, of course, I won't get the intake money for the maximum security. But it is my belief that because these prisoners come in as minimum security, they will be more likely to want to go back into minimum security through medium security. So these prisoners that I'm now making maximum security should potentially be the prisoners that want to transfer. And if not, then oh well. Okay, you are already there. 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 Ah, you're out in, in a jiffy. There you go. And because of that snitch, that is the reason why I have... Uh, wait, are you healed already? No. Ah, oh, the doctor is on its way. Okay. There you go. Now, let's have a look see. Connected. This is one of the um, more um, traits. Connected. This prisoner has connections everywhere inside the prison and out, and uh, they are able to produce contraband seemingly out of nowhere. Dangerous peeps. And the preacher that you saw earlier, let me go back to yonder. Now you're a skilled fighter, but the preacher. A preacher, this prisoner is extremely charismatic and is able to convert others to their religion, giving them the spirituality need. Now, because I have events on, um, one of the events is that a preacher randomly spawns within your prison already. But with the extra reputations, they will just come in as uh, preachers. By default, so they already exist. When I was busy with this one, and since I have more prisoners, I have more prisoners to make maximum security. And I hope that at some point I will be out of debt, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. More gang members and another preacher. But even the minimum, medium security guys will become maximum. This always is going to take a while, and I do apologize for that, but I kind of don't. Because this is just the way that I want to play this, uh, this one. If you don't like it, go look at another way to. You're getting healed. No, you're not getting healed. Um, there we go. That's the wrong screen. This is the right one. Here we go. Stoko X law enforcement. Another protective custody. Nothing special, but you're almost out. Now here we have an instigator and an escape artist. I didn't show the escape artist yet. This prisoner is a professional escape artist and breaks out of things for fun. Constantly trying to lift jail keys and then break out. However, since you're also an instigator, 
I'm gonna give you permanent lockup. Gangbang bear. Pickpocket, also one of the newer uh, traits. This prisoner is quickly fingered and will frequently attempt to steal uh, from whoever has the misfortune of being nearby. So that's also one of the traits from the extra reputations. Now, speaking of extra reputations, uh, we have our first criminally insane. Hey, Mr. Ward. Adam Ward. This means... Ah, you're getting a psychiatric consultation. This means that that works. But what I wanted to show... Where is the... The, the, the legendary guy? It used to be here. There. What I wanted to show is this uh, copycat. Oh no, this is just that one. The other one was a copycat. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Clean! This prisoner is obsessed with being clean. As a result, their need for hygiene will go up at a much higher rate. But this prisoner is a bit odd. Gang members don't work. That's just... A given. This guy's a workaholic. This prisoner is compelled to work and won't stop once they've started until there's nothing left to do. Ignoring the reg regime and even their basic needs. So I'm curious how this is gonna work. Literally in, in the matter of speech. Because gang members don't work. And this guy's a gang member. But also a workaholic. So, huh? Escape artist and another gang member. Speaking of, we have three blues, four reds, and one green. And a criminally insane. Okay, so insomniac. Uh, let's, uh, oh. let's show those off. Because the criminally insane will have a bunch of new traits entirely. Uh, criminally insane. Make sure that this inmate has access to psychiatrist psychiatric consultation sessions and a padded cell to help calm them. Weak. This prisoner is weaker, will not fare well in a fight and is therefore more susceptible to injuries and an insomniac. This prisoner requires very little sleep. Now, now that I have a criminally insane inmate... I can mess with their regime. They will have eat yard yard or shower. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, lock up. I'll keep their programs right here. But I do believe they need to be programmed free time. Lock up, more yard. Well, no, actually, I'll make these free time. Reset your programs, kitchen safety and hygiene. Okay, this is what I was afraid of. Minsec. 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 And Minsec. 
Actually, let's put them like so. I, I originally had them like this. Now you can see the workshop MaxSec has no programs whatsoever on purpose. Foundation Education, we'll go here and we'll go here. Behavioral Therapy will go here. Alcoholics. We'll go here. And Spiritual Guidance will go here and here. No, actually. I was about to say, are you going to get him healed up? There you go, 7,000 more. Uh, you are still stoical. Just missed those two then. Oh, wait. Um, these are new peeps. You're an instigator. Are you not? Yes, you are. Welcome to permanent lockup. And what about you, Venny? Already normal. Eight thousand prisoner intake. Oh dear. Legendary instigator. Permanent lockup. Ex-law enforcement volatile gang member. Fearless identity thief. Ah, this is the one I wanted to showcase. This prisoner is able to copy behaviors and actions of nearby prisoners, duplicating their reputations. So, eventually you're gonna see this guy, Mr. Echo Pimp, or Eco Pimp. Have a whole bunch of reputations. Just by being around people with reputations, he's gonna get their reputations as well. And that's the basic gist of that trait. Okay, we have more. And I see an instigator right away. Um, lockdown, because you are the instigator. I want to show this. This prisoner, so, uh, this prisoner sows seeds of discontent in all those nearby. When he causes trouble, nearby prisoners will feel compelled to do the same. So, he throws a punch and suddenly you have an entire riot. Purely because this guy exists. But this um, legendary, he may be deadless, but he's not extremely anything. And he's not a gang member, so he's no gang leader, still. But this is probably not the legendary prisoner that I ordered. Nor the other one, by the way. And here we have the Supermax. However, Supermax, once they come in, will be maximum too. But of course, once again, instigators will get permanent lockup. Skilled fighter, strong to total, there you go. So now it's just the super max and one probably maximum security legendary guy. And I get 95,000 out of this. Okay. Let us see. Just volatile. Volatile and deadly, strong and volatile, just deadly. You're an expert fighter and volatile. Ich. 
and I'm not really gonna care about the prisoners themselves, like what's the backstory or whatnot. I just want to make sure that they're all in maximum security the moment they get inside. And we have another legendary. We have a lot of legendaries today. But this one, again, is not part of any gang. And here we have another instigator. So permanent lock up. And here we have a volatile stoical preacher connected. I think we're almost there. There he is. This is the legendary guy that I did order. Extremely strong, extremely tough, extremely volatile, stoical, deadly, fearless, but a workaholic. Let's just hope that the workaholic trait takes precedence over everything else. And that he'll just work until he's too tired and then goes to bed. And basically doesn't mess up anything. You're a cop killer. Ooh, you're not... Uh, that you're that cop killers you also want to put in protective custody for some reason and what does a cop killer do this prisoner is guilty of murdering a police officer your prison guards may be unable to restrain themselves when subduing them so you're not protecting these guys from other prisoners but from your own guards I can imagine uh, let's see, where is protective custody? Right here, right here. I can imagine that if this prisoner has vision over here, that uh, let's say that the, uh, the cop killer is in this cell and this is his canteen, that he walks out and this, this, this sniper is just like, oh, you murdered my body, my, my buddy. I really want to pull this trigger right now, but I won't, so shit. <laughs> I, I can just imagine that being the case. Finally, this guy is being moved. So let's see, what were your misconducts? Destruction, escape attempt. Escape attempt. I'm going to throw you in Supermax for that. Escape attempt, freedom, my ass. S protection from being an a, uh, ex-law enforcement, my ass. You're going in Supermax. And if that means they kill you, then let them. So let's have a look at our gangs since everyone is in. Uh, intelligence gangs. Six red members, three blue members, and five. Uh, three green members and five blue members. And as you can see, while well, the yards are. Uh, oh, the gymnasiums can't be taken over. It's just the yards. But they will contest. Not the gyms. Because mm. I did only put in one weight bench and one of that. You know what? I'll, 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 I'll do it. Uh, weight bench. Here we go. One, two. One, two. Three, four. Four. Don't worry, um, you need six weight benches to get one single point. So, I can even throw in a few more uh, gym mats. If I can find them right here. And then there, 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 and 
there. And since these things don't add any points whatsoever, I'm still going to throw them in. And hopefully this will make the gym slightly more attractive that they do want to contest this. And I honestly don't know what will make a common room contestable. But I don't care. So yeah, this uh, this reception is uh, quite full. And that this is the benefit of having fast deliveries. Everything spawns into your deliveries and your storage. I think I wanted to dump this one. Because I don't need it. How many cards do I have? Uh, 300. Mm, I think it's enough. Yeah, it's enough, it's enough. But I'm under $100,000 in negative daily cash flow, so yay me. <laughs> yay me indeed. Although, you know what, screw that, we'll add 100 more guards. Fifty. Hopefully a few will go immediately to those guys. A one, a two, a three, a four. Sixty, two, three. You may be thinking, Doomy, why are you throwing in so many guards while well, you already have so many guards that are unassigned to things? I want to speed this up. Ninety, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, four hundred. There you go. Because Adam Wouts, Operate Sorting Desk, four hours in solitary. Too bad. Now let's see. Prisoners, 49. Oh, wait, why are you injured? Unconscious. What? Ah, oh, you're him already. Attack staff, found weapons, found weapons, and destruction. You're already causing trouble. But you do want to be medium security. I don't think it's ever going to happen. But if, if you do get there, if you do go over to this area... Then I will allow it. And I'm, I was more curious to see how many... Ooh, we have two criminally insane. Mr. Hill as well. Depressed. Let's see what that character is. This prisoner moves much slower when feeling suppressed and untreated. Now for criminally insane, they don't work. They will go to their, um, I think at least, their... Uh, spiritual guidance. They will definitely go to their uh, pharmaceutical treatment for drugs. They will go to their Alcoholics Anonymous and their behavioral therapy and of course their uh, psychiatric consultation. 
but in terms of laundry and cleaning cupboard and shop and um, mail room and other things where people can work, they don't do that. So these will have to be manned by staff. And I guess that my idea for the shop uh, also facing the Grimly Insane over here and the Supermax over here, that doesn't work. Oh well. It was worth a try. It was, was a neat idea. And in theory it should work because um, they can access here, on the outside at least, where there's a, uh, a shop front facing them. In theory it should work, but I guess it doesn't work that way. Oh well. That's a false flag. And I only have eight more criminally insane prisoners to get before I will have completed every single grant in the game. And I think that adding uh, 100 more guards definitely sped up the progress here. The process, not progress. First, I'm going to dismiss you. Because you're stuck there and you're not doing anything. Bring in another a hearse. Lots of equipment tasers. Because we have a lot of taser certification going on. And, oh, I see somebody. Brigadero. Zexio Brigadero. Clothing is still a high need. But I guess that's just going to be a thing for the few days. Safety, clothing, definitely. Although... Safety is high, but clothing has severely reduced. That is nice. Are you going to go into the ring queue? Or are you just going to watch? Hmm... No, you're going into the ring just as the other guy left. And Westerson. Seems that Q isn't putting up a fight. <laughs> oh well. It sucks to be him then. Mm. Yeah, there's still a lot of prisoner uniforms over here. I'm curious if I can remove them. Um. I guess not. Yeah, maybe in editing the save file, but uh, I won't go that far yet. You're being stored in a morgue. Volatile, deadly, overdosed. I do like the looks of this prison, though. I do like it. And at least it works. It's just going to take some time before we... Uh, 101? No, 100. Give me death row already. Let's see. 163. Out of 588. Plenty. Because dumping the, uh, the prisoner uniform also did 